Alright, welcome back everyone to another Texan video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the utility called 360 Desktop. Uh, now, what this basically does, it extends your desktop space, which allows you to add more windows and desktop icons. But I'm not talking about, like, a 3D kind of desktop, okay, which takes up all your memory. Now, this utility was designed for netbooks, and the way it works is, you remember when you used to add really high resolutions on laptops, and it turns out you had to scroll through your desktop? It's something like that. I'm going to show you what I mean. So, I already have 360 Desktop installed, and uh, you can download it from the link in the description. It's a freeware program. You can download it free, okay? So, let's open it up. And uh, what it should do now... Uh, I was going to make it a surprise, but anyway... Uh, it it uh, makes a panoramic image your desktop wallpaper. And uh, if you want to scroll through your desktop, all you need to do... Is move your cursor towards the side and move around your desktop. Easy as that. And you can add icons anywhere you want. You can move windows anywhere you want. And there we go. There's our icons where it was. So um, yeah. So basically, you can uh, look around this really cool panoramic wallpaper you get with it. Just look around and make your computer look good. And also. You can see the toolbar right here. If you click this uh, click and slide pan, you can just hold this box and uh, look around for quick access. And, uh, well, yeah, that's what this program basically does. It extends your desktop uh, a lot. Uh, this program is actually designed for netbooks so that because of the small resolutions at like 1024 by 600. Like me, I have a netbook, uh, especially on Windows XP. Windows 7, I don't really think it's recommended because you can increase the resolution a little higher than that. Okay, so let's take a look at the options. You can change the speed of uh, when you're moving to fastest. It's currently set to normal. So uh, let's go to the options. It's got this nice transparent uh, look. So let's go to 360s. You will get three. Uh, I mean, uh, two wallpapers: the Musée du Louvre and Notre Dame de Paris. What was that accent? <laughs> I don't know where they came from. Okay, anyways, let's check out the Musée de Louvre um, wallpaper. My God, I'm running out of spit talk because uh, I've done previous takes before, but they were not good. Okay, so here's the other wallpaper. You can see, looks pretty nice. So let's go back to the options. Okay, so anyways, uh. Not only those two, you, if you have internet connection, I don't have mine right now, I'm using a broadband modem, so my mother is using it. You can head to the 360 gallery, and there are like a huge number of panoramic images you can download from. There are more than a thousand images, each divided into games, there's even GTA 4s. And uh, there's movie panoramic images, there's abstract, landscape, cities, anything you want, just search it up find your panoramic image, download it, and select it from here. Okay? Or, if you sign up for the 360 desktop community, uh, you can even create your own uh, 360 images and share it uh, in, with the community. Now, uh, creating only well, basically you just need to create some panoramic images. Now I have a tutorial on crea creating panoramic images using Windows Live Photo Gallery, which is a part of Windows Live Essentials, that comes along with Movie Maker, Messenger, and all that. Okay, so if you also want to, if you really love to create uh, 360 backgrounds, then you can also sign up to be a pro user, uh, which you had to pay, that's for sure. Oh God, my voice is going out. Okay, and then you can check out the panning options, where you can check the uh, uh, set the sensitivity. Then you can see the pan options. And you can also add some widgets. I didn't really check that. Oh yeah, you can download some widgets as well. The current one you get is just a getting started widget, which helps you start using this uh, program. Okay, well, that's all we can really talk about this program. Now, if any of you have got netbooks, again, uh, you should get this program. It's very recommended. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why subscribe for more? I'm going to exit out of this, and you're back to normal. 
So thanks for watching and have a great day.